Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to talk about how to unlock the Battle Pass in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, and DMZ. So essentially this year you have to unlock these different regions and you have to unlock a full region before you can move on to the next one. Each region requires five unlocks. So you unlock these four basic squares first and then once you unlock all four of those, then you will receive the big reward for each section, and that is the thing that shows up as the main picture for each of these different regions. Now, if you're looking for the free weapons, they are marked by a yellow ping. So it starts in A7 on the top left-hand side, and over here in the bottom middle, we have A6, which also has the ping. So this unlocks the SMG, and this up here unlocks the new sniper. But you can see to actually go through and get to each of these different sections, we have to unlock other sections first to get there. So essentially you're going through and you're picking your own rewards, kind of. So for completing the entire battle pass, you will, re you will be rewarded with this section over here. If we click in, you get some COD points. These are all 100 COD points each. And then you get this here, um, the weapon blueprint the mortals bane and you get this skin from the trailer there the tricked out gold uh war zone operator so how do you get these unlocks to get these unlocks you need to play the game and earn xp just like previously how you would play the game earn xp and by doing that you would level up your battle pass from 1 to 100 from now it's the same except you can skip whole reward sections that you do not want so let's say that I wanted these two weapons, right? But then the only other things that I wanted was on this bottom path here. Well, I could unlock these ones first and I could not worry about the top path at all or the middle path. I could just simply unlock these two weapons and then go along the bottom path. Now, how many unlocks is it going to take to unlock both of the weapons? It takes five unlocks for each square. So for A1, it's five. For A3... 10 and then for a6 it's 15 to unlock the smg so it's essentially the same as the previous battle pass you have to get to rank 15 to be able to unlock this smg now if you weren't worried about the smg and you just wanted to go straight for the sniper then it would cost four uh sections so that would cost you 20 so in actual fact it's a little bit cheaper for you to go through and get a particular weapon that you want so this time you can choose which weapon you unlock early but it will still take you 30 levels so there's six total regions that you have to unlock so you'll have to get to level 30 to unlock both of the weapons which is pretty much exactly the same as previous battle passes have been so my recommendation is to go through and unlock both of these weapons here and then you can simply pick the tracks that you want. You can either go for, you know, cool, cu cool uh, customization things, cool cosmetics, or you can go through and look for COD point options and double XP options. It should be noted that there's also vehicle skins and stuff in here as well. So if you're interested in those, then you can go through and unlock those sections first. If you purchase the premium version of Modern Warfare 2, then you will receive the 50 tier skips that you can go through and use immediately to unlock both of your new weapons and then work towards some other things that you're interested in as well. So anyways, guys, that is the Battle Pass Explained for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, and DMZ. So I hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.